Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to delete error logs in SQL Server. Sometimes uh, in SQL Server, error logs get so big that you would like to delete your SQL Server error log to uh, get some space back. Uh, in this demo, we'll be learning how to view error log location, how to recycle SQL Server error log. And uh, I put this second point up here, how to recycle SQL Server error log, because sometimes it's mandatory uh, in a lot of situation your current SQL server log it has gone so big and you would like to basically delete that if you try to delete SQL server error log without recycling SQL server error log then it's going to give you an error that this particular file is in use so you cannot delete that and I'll show you that how to recycle SQL server error log and then delete it and how to delete SQL server agent uh, error log in SQL Server, how to view changes in SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface after doing all this. So let's go ahead. Here's my SQL Server. And this is my SQL Server instance. And uh, in order to go to SQL Server error log, you go in SQL Server agent and look at and expand SQL Server agent and look at error logs right here. If you expand that, you can see that the retention of error logs sometimes in production, I wouldn't recommend this using using this but uh, uh, keep in mind that if your retention is to keep for certain dates you shouldn't delete that unless it's gone completely out of control then you can go ahead and delete that and other thing that I wanted to mention right here that uh, keep in mind that if you delete that error log you won't be having all that information right here in SQL Server error log so if you don't need all that uh, SQL Server error log uh, information then you can go ahead and delete that and in this demo I'm going to show you how so now you notice that um, I have error log from 3 uh, 31 March 31st 2015 to um, April uh, 2nd to uh, 2015 what I would like to do is just keep the current and I wanted to uh, uh, this archive right here is uh, uh, still holding uh, place in my disk so it's going to uh, keep a lot of space right here let's say in my case it's not too big but um, uh, sometimes if you need to delete the error log then um, it must be a reason that uh, you wanted to retrieve your uh, disk space back so in that case this video is going to help you so I'm going to go ahead and delete basically uh, uh, from right here uh, the um, 803 onward to 925th from April 2nd to uh, go back uh, that is uh, April 30 I mean March 31st so I'm going to go ahead and delete that but keep in mind that uh, if you need your current um, right here your current um, error log which contains most of the data uh, at uh, you know when SQL Server restarted it recycles the error log on its own so um, after that, if it builds up so high and you wanted to, you would like to go ahead and uh, delete the current SQL Server log, you need to recycle the SQL Server log so that it can start another file and let you delete this current. As you can see that it says current, so we're going to go ahead and right click on error log and right here it says recycle. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to click OK and we're going to go ahead and refresh and let's go back to error logs as you can see right here in error log now the current has become 849 so this has become this this is gone archived right here and it's not in use in SQL Server unless you right click and open this file right here and somebody will try to delete this particular file then it's gonna give you error that is being used but currently SQL Server is using only this file so how to delete that let's go ahead we have gone through recycling SQL Server error log so um, in order to find where SQL Server error log is you can go ahead and uh, click on configure and right here is where the SQL Server error log is so you need to basically find write this path in your SQL Server instance or in your agent and go to error log and go uh, right click and go to um, right here let me do it one more time configure and this is where you want to go 
and this is the folder that we're interested in in order to delete our error log so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this we're gonna click right here and go to that path and right here is my error log so you can go ahead and basically go from date modified and it'll show you this uh, uh, right here uh, what we're interested in this is SQL agent any log that's related to your SQL agent it will have SQL agent in front of that so let's go ahead and uh, uh, sort it out with name and right here is SQL server log right here error log and if you wanted to look at the agent log that is SQL server agent log right here so in agent log right here um, you would like to go ahead and modify it by the date and you will get uh, up here uh, really not all that great so let's go ahead and uh, uh, modify it by the uh, sorted by type and I just wanted to show you different formats that you get so the best format in this case is name and uh, you can go back and look at the time but keep in mind that uh, the the used one if you wanted to delete all the error log um, right here this is the current one two three four five six so right here is the oldest one and it put one two three four five and six if you see these numbers error log dot one dot two dot three dot four that means they are ready to delete if you if you wanted to delete that but keep in mind once you delete this you cannot uh, view the information in SQL Server about these error logs so in this demo we're going to delete it anyway so let's go ahead and delete this all right let's go back to our SQL Server Management Studio refresh as you can see that you would probably expect right now that oh it should go ahead and just show me the current one why it's showing all that archive one and I tell you the reason because if you double click any error log it'll show you that SQL Server and SQL Server agent log this these are the two it logs right here it's it's more concerned about it's not concerned about uh, the Windows NT right here so let's go ahead and uh, uh, if you uncheck this bar right here and go on current you will see just one little error right here so let's go ahead and look at the archive and see if what deleted one worked so we're gonna go ahead and click on here we're gonna go ahead uh, I'm sorry it not agent SQL server right here as you can see we haven't done anything in agent yet so you can see the uh, SQL server has taken place right away right here that's the our current log but uh, uh, mostly folks will concentrate on like like okay I have basically recycled the SQL Server log and I have uh, uh, deleted the SQL Server error log why is showing still the archive and I showed you the reason because we haven't basically deleted a SQL Server agent log if you double click on any log you will see that uh, it's a SQL Server agent log by default it's open and uh, up here if you expand the SQL Server log it'll show you just the current one so let's go ahead and delete um, 1 2 3 and to 9 from 928 to 804 it's, it's like right here uh, March 31st we're gonna go ahead and delete all these right here and we're going to go ahead you you have an option basically if you wanted to just delete to retrieve the data from the SQL server you can export th these um, error logs right here to your central location where you're not worried about the space that SQL server is using so keep in mind that if these uh, up here they're important to you export them before you delete them so let's go ahead and cancel this and go back to our file system and if you notice right here as I said that uh, SQL Server agent would have right here all the SQL Server agent name and then from one two three four five and this is the ninth one ninth one would be the way previous one and the second latest one would be the one so it goes other way 
the current one that SQL Server agent is using is SQL agent dot out. So we're going to leave that and we're going to go ahead and delete all this. All right. So let's go ahead and try to delete SQL Server out. Let's see what we we see right here. Can you see that it won't let us delete anyway because it's being used by SQL Server agent. So let's go back to our SQL Server Management Studio and refresh it and now you will see just the current because before that it had SQL Server agent and SQL Server. So this is basically how you uh, delete SQL Server error logs in SQL Server and we have seen uh, how to view the error log location by right clicking and clicking on configure and you will find the error log location and how to recycle uh, SQL Server error log. You can use T-SQL script to recycle the uh, SQL Server error log uh, and how to delete SQL Server agent error log and we, we saw that as well and then after doing all this how to view the changes uh, in SQL Server Management Studio and I hope this video helps.